Macaulay. That was nice. Oh, Macaulay. That's a nicer one, I think. Should be getting a new look by throwing this whopper plopper in here. Oh, yep. There's one right there. Oh, there we go. There's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Here this evening at this little neighborhood pond. If you guys seen a couple of my past videos, including my giveaway announcement video, this should look familiar. This is the same pond that I shot those or that video at. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, it'll be uh, it'll be available for you to click on at the end of this one. But anyway, I'm here because we've gotten a lot of recent rain. The last couple nights and then on and off today it's been kind of drizzling right now we got a break in the rain and usually this pond fish is pretty darn good when you get some fresh water in it so they should be eating here this evening so i'm gonna start with the top water like i always do and then depending on how that goes i might switch over to something else but usually i pretty much just stick to top water in this pond they love to eat it and it's a great option for how the pond sets up. Like I said, we just got a lot of fresh rain, so there's gonna be water way up in the grass here. I'm gonna try to run this whopper plopper in between the lanes. Try and get these fish way up here shallow. Those are gonna be the ones that are wanting to feed. There's some little minnows and Stuff, running away from the bank here as I'm walking I haven't seen any bass busting the surface or anything or running away from me but I see plenty of bait up here should run into one here pretty soon probably when we get back to that corner over there where I seem to always catch them in this pond every once in a while I'll get one somewhere else along this bank or along that side over there but Usually it's that very, very back corner over there that I usually get a good fish. bait I don't feel anything oh no never mind I feel it now yep it's a little bit of drizzle starting to happen there it's all right though as long as it just stays like that we can still be filming and it should be good for the bite actually uh oh starting to rain just a little bit harder though hopefully it doesn't dump on us real hard here Wow, nothing back here in this pocket so far. That's crazy. Could have sworn I was gonna get bit back here. Don't have so much confidence now though. Huh. 
Interesting. No bites back here on an early fall day with lots of wind and rain and bait up shallow. No reason I can see at all that I shouldn't be catching fish right now. In a place that I know has them for sure, that likes to eat topwaters too. It's kind of wild, I'm not getting a bite right now. Wow, we're getting all the way back around to where we started without a single topwater bite. I would have definitely bet against that if somebody would have been here to bet me. Golly. Well, no topwater bites at all, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tie in a little spinner bait. Try to go around here again before it gets too dark. Hopefully catch a fish while the GoPro can still see. Golly, that was nice. <laughs> fish came up and crushed it right before it got in that grass. <laughs> Just a little fella, but man, did he come up and smash it. Golly, that was awesome. That one wanted it for sure, look at that. Choked it. Hooked him all the way through and then back again. Golly, that one was not playing around. There we go. All right, all right. Healthy little guy. Just a little fish though. Definitely catch a lot better fish out here sometimes, but I'm not gonna complain. That was a really cool bite. <laughs> Ooh, splashed me all over the face. That's not water, water that you want in your mouth, but <laughs> that's all right. I guess he gets to splash me back in the face, huh? After I hooked him through the face like that. Got that fish on this little Mr. Money spinner bait it's called by strike king it's got one tiny little gold colorado blade and then one silver what they call indiana blade it's like a mix between a colorado and a willow leaf and that's just a good small real small little spinner bait real compact comes through grass easy imitates the really tiny bait fish that are in here and that are swimming up around the shallows a lot of times this year or this time of year i should say it's only 3 16ths of an ounce so it's a little bit hard to throw on conventional tackle but it's not too bad as you can tell i can get it out there plenty far so just have to give a little bit more muscle nicer one I think I don't know he's all up in the weeds now hope he's still on there actually is there still a fish in there yep he's moving in there but he's not very big golly just another little guy that absolutely crushed it she whiz smashed that spinner bait <laughs> Immediately got me hung up in all that grass. Thought I had me a good one, dang it. There we go, just another little guy. Golly, another one that stuck real good. There we go. Right in the corner of his lip that was already messed up a little bit actually. Already deformed. Another healthy one though. Golly, came up and smashed that little spinner bait. Thank you for playing buddy. Haven't had any followers like I had on the top water, but as far as I can tell, both fish that have come up and even looked at my spinnerbait actually ate it and I caught them. So it's definitely a good time that I make the correct switch. Might have made the switch just a little bit too late here, though. I'm sure it's getting pretty dark, pretty hard for that GoPro to see here at this little pond this evening. I was just fishing yesterday evening, pretty much exactly the same conditions. It's been raining on and off today. I'm at a pond just down the road from where I was yesterday evening. 
just about this exact same time but I'm throwing a top water actually here that I have not thrown here yet I've mostly come here and thrown poppers because as you can see there's a bunch of grass and stuff that I like to try to hit the holes with but here today just throwing this little whopper plopper hoping I can get some bigger fish maybe to trigger on this thing because like I said I haven't thrown this in here yet so hopefully giving them a look they haven't seen this font these this pond doesn't really get fish very much so I think I'm the only one or pretty much the only one that really throws anything in here so should be getting a new look by throwing this whopper plopper in here Oop. yep whopper plopper in here Oop. yep there's one right there nice <laughs> right off the bat we got us one well there you go there's a good sign made just a few casts in here not even on the good side of the pond i would say there's another whole side over there it's a lot deeper and a lot wider but man already eaten up here in this little part so that's a good sign there we go not a bad fish actually for this little section of the pond usually the smaller little guys are up here in this real shallow part but that's a decent little fish there pretty healthy all right all right calm down calm down i'll get you back in the water buddy all right see you later buddy thank you for playing <laughs> Well, that was pretty cool. Got a bite real quick. Oh, golly. There's another one right there. <laughs> actually made me flinch. I wasn't expecting the bite. It was right at the last second. I was actually looking for my next cast already. Golly, another one came up and blasted it. When I say that other side is deeper, it's still not very deep at all. This side is just super, super shallow. That's why I don't really expect real big ones to be up in here, but there could be one pushed up in here just to eat or whatever for the moment, but I don't think they really live up in here, the bigger ones. There's not very much water over the top of this grass at all. Okay, well the bass just blew up right on top of all that grass. Maybe I ought to throw a frog when I come back that way, right on top of all that stuff. Can't throw a whopper plopper on top of it, obviously. With all the treble hooks, you can throw it just around the edges, but hmm, maybe they're tucked way up in that grass. I don't know why there wouldn't be some more out here though. They can't all be up in that grass. For the size of this pond, there's actually quite a few fish in here. The first time I came here, I had seven, eight bites, including an absolute giant. So definitely a high population of fish for the size of this pond. High population of bass and bluegill, shad, everything. There's just a, just a lot of stuff in here. It's a very, very fertile ecosystem, apparently. Fish is up there trying to eat dragonflies, I think. <laughs> Dragonfly just flew away from that branch right there. <laughs> right where that bass just jumped out of the water again completely. You just saw a big old dragonfly fly away, so pretty sure he's up there trying to eat dragonflies. That is not an uncommon thing this time of year. A lot of times, especially early in the fall, those dragonflies are still flying around. They fly around pretty much all summer actually, but they're still flying around in the early fall. And those bass take advantage of that cooler water and push way up in there, start munching down on them.
Oh, there we go. There's a nice one. Oh yeah, good fish. Oops, swim straight at me now. <laughs> kind of just gave up. Oh, now he's fighting again. Golly. Got all the fight back in him again. Come on, dude. Cut it out. I'm just gonna get him up here to the bank. You don't wanna keep flopping around like that. All right, there we go. There's a nice one. Dude came up and smacked it. Whew. Pinned his mouth shut with the hooks. I think that's why he gave up for a second there. He got his mouth pinned shut and didn't know what to do. Then all of a sudden he got some life back in him. Oop, there we go. Got his mouth back open. There we go. All right. That was really cool. That is a solid, solid fish right there. There we go. Nice one. Real healthy fall bass right there. Look at the gut on that thing. Definitely been eating lately. This tiny, tiny little pond. There's good fish like this. There's actually even a bigger one. Like I said, I lost an absolute giant the first time I ever came here, but whew, that's a pretty nice one there too. I will take those all day. Solid, solid fish. Come up and just whack that whopper plopper. Thank you for playing, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. All right, well, I was talking about switching to a frog as I went back over here, but I'm not going to do that now actually because as far as I could tell that was actually a pretty small bass eating up there in that grass like that. And all the signs are telling me that the better fish are actually out here in this open water eating this whopper plopper just fine. So I'm going to try to cover all the water I can before dark. I got the other side of this little pond to fish right here and then I've got another little pond actually right over the hill to also fish before it gets dark so i'm gonna go ahead and just keep it on this whopper plopper so i can cover water quickly all right nothing on this side i'm gonna try to hustle over here to this other little pond actually has some pretty nice ones too just right over the hill i'm gonna try and fish as much of this before it gets dark as much of this as i can This water looks dirty. Oh yeah. This one's muddy for some reason. I don't know why that other one's so clear. This one's like chocolate milk. Hmm. I don't know. It's usually not a good deal when the water's normally clear and then it gets super muddy. But the one thing that it should do is push them real shallow up against something so you might get some along this grass line here before it gets dark real quick oh here comes the rain there's my sign to get out of here <laughs> well that little pond turned out to be a bust but honestly i expected that once i saw the water color but i'm definitely not going to complain about the last two little evening sessions they were quick little sessions I had a lot of fun for the short amount of time I was fishing. Mm -hmm. 